My name is Marin Harrington. I am a sophomore at Duchenne Academy, and this is Lamp Patrol. 7.04 p.m. Twilight illuminates the stars, and my father devours public broadcast television and Jesus. As I scurry up the stairs, smaller men, an architect to towers of blankets and tangled feet toppling over my parents' mattress, I am a worn but never insig insignificant teddy bear. Nestling into the crook of my mother's elbow, I let her swish my cotton shoulders. We revisit our warmest television reruns, marveling the seventh viewing no less than the first. 7.51 p.m. I trespass onto her pillow, sweet talk, worm my way out of a scolding into her motherly instincts. She'll stroke my scalp with 12 fingernails, hush clumps of feather, hush, Hush clumps of hair with the feather of her knuckles, the wings of motherly love. Circa 8.45 p.m., the rays emanating from the television stretch far enough to pull down the blinds safeguarding her eye. Their lullaby coos her to sleep, sometimes still sitting upright with springy neck, pushing chin to collarbone, glasses always askew, dangling vicariously from the tip of her nose, mouth half pursed. In the most polite oval, she nods off with no regard for her surroundings. My job is to flip her lamp switch, watch the cascading light halt with the click of a knob and leave her with her dreams. 24 hours later, when homework chains me to my desk, exhaustion rusts the gears of logic, pushes me to the descent of my bed covers, my mother's creaky voice staggers through my door, calling my name in half-slurred syllables because her lamp is still on and sleepiness will not allow her to turn it off. Taut sighs escape my mouth, breathy expletives between perfectly angled pillows and wool socks engulfing the ankles of my pajama pants, a space heater twinkling against my toes. I will not heave myself out of this bed just to flip her switch. I will not. But still I do. Following the trail of hardwood grain, fingers grazing the sandpapery beige wall, I christen a kiss on her forehead and call lights out. Still I do it, because one day I will still be small, but no longer the teddy bear, instead searching for one to clutch. One day my mother's embrace will not reside just down the hallway. One day I will watch our reruns alone. There will come a day when her bulb will burn out, and the only lamp I'll have left to turn off will be my own.